Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I've called out Coach Rob. I'm getting a little closer to picking my new racket. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I've kind of been on a racket journey um, and it's kind of taken a while if you hadn't noticed because I haven't posted anything regarding it because I'm struggling. I'm sure like most of you are struggling with, you know, new rackets. So I feel like as long as I have my clash around, I'm going to always be like, it's always there, right? And it's kind of been always there for, I feel like six months now. So struggling with, you know, one of these right now and i wanted to address one major thing that nobody really talks about when they're buying a new racket does the racket suit your swing so we all know that you know you, you all get into q pretty easily which is right here but on the swing does it suit your swing path does it suit your glide path like an airplane? You know, is it going to come in for a landing perfectly most of the time? Coach Rob, do you think that that's a very important process in a tennis racket? I think as you uh, are higher levels, you're going to notice those things more. I think some people may not know all the terminology and they're just going to swing it. And if it feels good swinging it and playing with it, um, they usually end up pretty happy with it. But as you dive deeper in our researching more and you're feeling and you can feel those subtle differences your games at that level then definitely you want a, a racket that um, you know helps you not hurts you right so let me let me explain to you what I'm talking about a little bit more in depth like coach Rob always has his signature swing right what if we took his racket and gave him an ultra light racket It'll alter the swing. He'll have to adapt. How long will it take for him to adapt? And how, and will he adapt? Are the two questions. He's shaking his head. <laughs> He's shaking his head, right? Okay. So I could adapt, but I, I can use anything at this stage. Right. But, but I mean, if you were playing if like a couple of I was really sets, competing, yeah, yeah. If I was competing, I would want more of my own weighted racket and racket to my, you know, string tension and all of that. Right. I mean, right. Coach Rob feeds all day long, so he can adapt to anything feeding wise. But if he was playing, you know, that that little little extra that you're wanting or used to, like like last second turning it over for a spin or last second straightening it out to hit flat. Right. That's the comfort part of it. Plus, if a ball suddenly speeds up on you because the wind is behind it, can you you know, adjust and speed up your racket fast enough to catch up to the ball. Um, so those are the questions that I'm struggling with on these rackets is that the glide path isn't quite there yet. We're going to study the, the glide path, my swing path on my forehand and my backhand today. All right. So hang tight.
right, so we just got off the court and I showed Coach Rob the footage of uh, our, our playing. Coach Rob has a thought and an opinion. Um, Coach Rob, what did you think? I'll, I'll take that away. You're gonna take the clash? <laughs> oh, okay. I'll, okay. I'll give you the three. Okay, so uh, in hitting with Harry and looking at it, um, I my per personal opinion came out to be, I thought he hit a little bit better with um, the Dunlop uh, in terms of where the balls were landing, a little more action on the ball. Um, his swing looked um, a little bit better in terms of spacing. So I know spacing has more to do with his feet and his setup, but um, I thought the ball jumped off his racket pretty good and it was landing pretty deep in the court. So um, what about the swing path? The swing path, well, that there again, once you got your feet in position, your swing path, um, it, it looked pretty good. Mm -hmm. And it looked like you were swinging easier, still getting good power and depth without having to muscle it. Got it. Um, you know, where if you're not set up right or you're you're struggling or you're trying harder to hit it hard, mm -hmm. you know, now you're using way more body force and your swing is going to get shorter because you're trying um, and your ball tends to land shorter. But right. here with this one, it, you, your follow through was, I thought was pretty good. Length of swing was good. You know, shot depth. Um, the ball jumped off the racket a little bit more. I know I played a little deeper just, um, you know. Just because. Okay. Just because we were trying to keep it going with right. it. So. Right. Um, then there was the blackout and um, Arma. Arma Pro. Um, these two, you know, you know, I thought these were both pretty similar in what you were doing okay. uh, hitting wise, but that one kind of jumped out more at me. Could have been that it was yellow. I, <laughs> I won't go with that, but. Um, so I think there's one other thing that I didn't mention that we actually saw a little bit in the footage was that I was probably turning up a little bit more with these and I was probably coming through a little bit more with this one. Um, so that that's probably why this is, I can actually feel, feel, feel this. More weight in the butt. Let's see, yeah, let's see that one. More weight kind of mid to top. Right. This one seems more balanced. That's more balanced. More, or just heavier overall. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's what the specs say, but at least in just terms so of... So more weight and wear on that Dunlop. On the Dunlop, it would either be the grip is bigger or the weight, there's more weight down here. Okay. Um, at least just with my, you know, standing here swinging it. Got it. Um, so that's, so the weight, you know, you guys always talk about weight and balance and uh, overall weight. Well, where's the weight? And that actually correlates with your swing path too. Can you control the balance? Is there too much weight in the head? Is there too little weight in the head? Those things, you know, I'm constantly battling with in terms of my feel. I mean, I don't calculate them in my head. It's all in the swing path. So um, I'm gonna take what we did today and kind of ponder it and you know, let, let's see how much longer this journey takes, but I'm always happy to call out Rob and I'm glad that he's able to come out and, uh, and continue this journey with me, okay? So as you know, just these don't, things don't take overnight. It, it's gonna take maybe one more video. And, and some more sets and, <laughs> yeah. you know, play some sets. Right. See what it feels like serving. How do you, uh, how do you respond in gameplay? Right. You know, it's one thing just to be hitting and drilling and and right. to be thinking about it. But once you're really playing, now you're not thinking about the racket, you're just playing. And this then is true. what, uh, you know, you're gonna squeeze maybe a little tighter because the you're, you know, it's 30 all at five all. You're like, I don't wanna miss that shot. Right. How does the racket respond under game conditions? Okay, well that, we might do some tiebreakers next time and see how that goes. Huh? All right. I wanna thank my man, Coach Rob, for hanging out with me today and helping me continue my racket journey. I'll pick a racket someday. All right. Thank you, Rob. You're welcome. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Man, it's windy today. Am I at the right club? Where is this wind coming from? I should have restrung my racket.
My eyes are so itchy. My socks don't quite. How feel am I gonna right. deal with this wind? Man, it's windy today. I gotta make sure I'm tight. I'm not stringing those. Man, today. Shoes I have to today? Why is it so freaking windy today? It's tight. Where is that water bottle? Did I, lock Did I remember my phone? Where is my phone coming from? Where is my phone? Was I supposed to get my kid from school? Yeah, I think I lost my water. Do I, I don't need a water bottle. Light for my did I bring the right ball? I think I need time. a massage. Man, did I have enough coffee? Maybe I should have worn How am I going to deal with this wind? Screen today? Let's open the APEAK app and find my Zen. As you prepare for your match, let's talk briefly about consistency. Time to play. <laughs> 